Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a multi-camera live composite. This is done by creating two or more live composition shots and then wrapping them together in a so-called switcher node. Let's get started. We start with our first live composition for which we use a Sony camera and HTC Vive tracker. For the background, we use an equirectangular shot. In this case, it's a still frame, but this can as well be a clip with motion. Let's first fix the Kia so we have something decent to look at. And now we go back to the construct to create the second setup. In this case, a red Komodo camera with a RealSense tracker. And again, we tweak the Kia a bit until we're happy with the result. We now see a bit of sliding. To fix this, let's do a quick camera position calibration for the real sense. Also, let's adjust the default rotation of the background shot to match our second camera perspective. Finally, for this shot we turn off the relative mode of the Kia layer and adjust its position in 3D space so we can easily map out the surroundings in the live capture. Back to the construct where we now have two live composites which we wrap together in a switcher node. The first thing we want to open is the channel controller, which allows us to select the active channel in the viewport that we want to work on. Note that you can either set a hard cut or a dissolve effect for switching between the channels. Although you select an active channel, this does not mean that the other channels are not playing. In the displays tab of the channel controller, you can assign a specific output to each of the channels of the switcher node. For example, we can ensure that the split view always shows the second input or a video wall of all inputs. So, even if we now switch the active channel, we can see that the other channels continue their playback. As you can see from the node tree, you can also still navigate and adjust all the elements of each of the live compositions. Note that in this setup we're using the same background shot for both compositions. However, the shot is actually loaded twice. If you however first add the shot to the staging of the main composite node and then use it in your composite, a reference to that node is used, which will enhance playback performance and saves you work when grading. Let's go back to the construct. There we open the staging view. Now each slot shows you the base shot and all the underlying media shots that are used in the composite. As you can see, the switcher node has two references to the background. Now, let's load the same background again and drop that into the staging area of the switcher node. Let's also rename this instance of the shot so that we can easily identify it. Now back in the player, we can still see the two branches of the switcher node tree. We can also view the staging area of the switcher node from here. Now let's grab the newly loaded background and then switch back to the node tree. Let's replace the existing background in the first channel. Now let's do this again, grab from the staging area and now replace the background of the second channel with the same shot. Then navigate to the background node and then put a bit of a grade on it. As you can already see in the node tray proxy image, the background node of the second channel also has the grade, effectively showing that it is indeed a shot reference. You can still apply separate grades for each channel by adding a grade to the 360 to 2D plugin node in each of the channels. So to summarize, normally if you add the same node twice to a composite, a copy of that node is made. If you however first add the shot to the staging of the main composite node and then use it in your composite, a reference to that node is used which saves you some work when grading any of the two as the grade will automatically be applied to the other one as well. Alright, this concludes our video on multicam live composites and the use of the staging area in LiveFX. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.